Good morning. Uh, today we're going to take a limit as x approaches infinity, negative infinity to be exact, and it's the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function x over the root of x squared plus 1. Um, I've seen a few different techniques, well a couple anyway. Uh, you can reason this out, but you really can't, You a lot of people are want to um, use uh, some rules uh, for when a function, a rational function approaches infinity. This is not a rational function. It has a root involved in here in the denominator in fact, and so you can't do that. Uh, the way, and I might make another video that demonstrates another technique, but the technique that comes to my mind right now is that if I can get, if I can rewrite this expression and keep it the same as x approaches negative infinity and put it all under the radical, then I can see what uh, one radical, then I can see what uh, what actually happens inside the radical and uh, and then compute the limit. Um, so what I'm going to do is the denominator is already under the radical, but I want to get the numerator under the radical. Well, it's x, but I can actually just write x as the square root of x squared. But the issue here is, is that now we've changed the function. As x goes to negative infinity, the square root of x squared is positive. But as x goes to negative infinity, x is negative. So in order to compensate for that, we just put a negative 1. Now we have not changed anything about the, uh, the expression. It, st it, it, st it maintains its uh, value. So, I'm just going to, now we have a radical over a radical, and we can rewrite that as the limit as x uh, approaches negative infinity, and we'll put the negative, and then we can put the entire uh, expression under the radical, and we have x squared over x squared plus 1. Um, now, we can... Uh, we could either look at it as a, we could take the limit inside or we can, uh, this is another technique, divide by the highest, every term by the highest power of x. I was going to say you could actually use one of the properties of limits, but uh, I don't know. People don't like that, so I'm not going to do it. But if I divide every term by the highest power of x, which is x squared now inside the radical, I'm going to get x squared over x squared in the numerator, x squared over x squared plus 1 over x squared in the denominator. Uh, we'll simplify this. x squared over x squared is a court. Need some color. Uh, x squared over x squared is a course 1. Same difference here. So we can rewrite the limit as the limit as x goes to negative infinity of negative square root of 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared. We can take the limit as 1, uh, as x goes to infinity, 1 goes to 1, this 1 goes to 1, 1 over x squared goes to, since it's negative infinity, x squared will be positive number, so 1 over infinity is goes to 0. So now we've taken the limit and we're left with negative uh, square root of 1 over 1 plus 0, if you will. And that, of course, simplifies into negative 1.